little brush. The cheeks around is not too big. Looks like a job for Scott's garage. Okay, so let's get into this. So the Roomba robot vacuum, we've had it for a year or so. Haven't really had any problems with it, but I knew eventually it would probably break because it just keeps rolling around, banging into things, and eventually it's going to not work or some part of it is not gonna work. So these little brushes, they are supposed to spin around but they are not spinning around at the moment when it's going. And I assume that it's probably something that's broken. I don't know. We didn't change any kind of like setup to make it not rotate. So I'm assuming it's kind of broken. Um, I don't know what kind of Roomba this is. Um, seems like just sort of a generic Roomba. Oh boy. We could really clean out a lot of these brushes. Wow, I don't know what the heck is in here. Maybe I'm supposed to clean that out. Hmm. Because this is the only thing. Oh, wait a minute. No? No, I've been cleaning this. Looks like it's been sucking up some. Kind of gross. But it has been working. So, looks like we can, oh, looks like some part of this is uh, take a partable. So I can probably get all that hair and stuff out of there. Clean that up. And then, uh, then we'll kind of look into this thing. So, I don't know, I've never worked on one of these ever before. So I have no idea if this is, Way to do it, but hmm. Oh, maybe they push down and something. Oh, okay. So you push these down, they're a little springy. You push them both down, and then does this all come out? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let me. First start by putting in my my um, earbud. Well, let's start, spread this out so that we can put any kind of parts. These wheels look in pretty good shape. For all the, that looks okay. They seem to kind of drive. It seems like it's a, Oh, that's how it like spins, like rotates that. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so this one comes out like that. Let's remember that. So this side goes in over here, but you put in this side first. The gray side goes in first. Looks like it has like a little square drive that fits in the square drive of this with all kinds of crap in it. And then this kind of comes out the oh, same way. Okay. So I'm sure that this is not the problem, but you know, it's obviously this thing, but let's just uh, maybe clean it up a little bit while we're here. Don't know. Oh, this kind of comes unsnappy. What I think I'm gonna do is get the shot back. And just have the shop back ready. And okay, so this thing seems to pivot on these. But I'm not sure if this is supposed to come out or not. Hmm. I don't know. Let me pause this and uh, see if I can figure a little bit more of this out. Okay, so what I did is I just, <clears throat> this little rubber thing that fits in there, I just took it over to the sink and washed it off. It was kind of, the stuff was kind of stuck on there. I figured that'd be the easiest way. It seemed to work. These little things are great. It's a little tool, tool caddy, and pick out some nice little things. And if you see down in here, there's a bunch of hair and stuff. 
It's all bound up in there. Wheel still spins, but let's get it out. Well, at least we figured out where all my hair went. It's all in here, not on my head. Tweezers, scissors, and a Dr. Pepper. That's what's gonna get this job done. There we go. Not sponsored, but I do like a Dr. Pepper. Look at that. That is refreshing. Oh yeah. So I'm beginning to think that these things are not maintenance free. They probably require a lot of maintenance. Well, not a lot, but regular maintenance would be a good idea. Okay, the uh, wheel is clean and rolls good. So we fixed one thing that didn't need to be fixed. Am I procrastinating? Maybe. sensor or something. Weird. So I think I figured out the best way is just to get some little scissors because this hair wrapped around here is pretty strong. And if you just try to pull it and break it, it takes quite a bit of effort, but if you just kind of, if you just kind of like cut it, then that seems like the way to go. So once it's cut, it just kind of comes right off of there like that. And then we can, you know, clean the dirt out of these places. Nothing looks broken or worn out so far. There seems to be lots of little places where the stuff can get caught. I don't know if that's the best design in the world. I mean, I probably couldn't anything you know, as good as this but just from a you know garage guy two cents seems like a lot of little areas where things can get bound up and caught it just occurred to me that maybe you're supposed to just replace these maybe you can buy this thing and not have to deal with the sort of gross procedure here Maybe this is like a few bucks and saves an hour of pulling hair out of it. I don't know. So I just, excuse me, just realized that this pops off. And then you can clean in there and um, probably just pull this off, yeah? Easy. Okay, so that's a tech tip for you. Right there, I spent 10 minutes working on this thing and I think it would have been a lot easier. I wonder if this piece was on too. One side clean, and the pile grows. It is a little satisfying pulling this stuff off of here, though. And the pile's getting bigger and bigger. So wait till we get to that big. I wonder what Shania Twain's doing right now. Hmm. Bet she's not picking hair out of a Roomba. And that last joke was a homage to Derek over at Vice Grip Garage. Stole that joke from you, but Shania Dway. Didn't mean to, I hope you don't mind, but I, I think it's really funny. You know, that was, that's his joke. So. All right, so let's get into this guy. Uh, hey, maybe this cat pops off. Ooh, cool. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, let's start getting uh, busy with this guy. Okay, I think I got the procedure. Hair is really tough to get through. My little scissors there. It was just laughing at it. But if you just sort of work your way up through here, with the, the wire cutters. You ever do something like, and then you realize how freaking gross it is, right, like right in the middle of what you're doing? Ugh. I think I'm at that point. 
Ooh, gross. Okay. Huh. So I switched to the scissors. That kind of seems to work pretty good. It's uh, got thinner so you can get in more, but it's got more oomph than the little teeny scissors. But still, it's really just a process of ripping this stuff out of here. I don't know what they expect. Oh, gross. Ugh. I don't know what they expect me to do. I guess this. Okay, so this has got to be disposable. I, I can't imagine that people would actually do this. So I'm going to go look on Amazon and you can probably buy this brush pretty cheaply and you probably just pull this out because it's so easy to take off. Throw this away and put in a new brush. That's my guess. Let me find out. Jesus, looks a little bit like a 1970s porno movie. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's uh, take off this cover. This cover here has two, four screws and should be able to pull this off. And then maybe we can access this and see why this isn't spinning. Feels like it's attached to something. Like uh, it's not just broken. So I don't know, let's see. I like that these have little arrows right here. It's like a little like here unscrew here but it looks like the screws um are like retaining they won't really come out the four screws are are uh, retained there so you don't lose them i guess huh. oh maybe i should have taken that off first hmm. okay Okay, so I unscrewed this, and then, does that come off? It's kind of retaining too. Oh, and that pops off. It's got a little schmutz, but that's not stripped. That looks good. And it looks like there's a little, there's like built up hair everywhere. This is just nuts. I don't know, maybe this is the problem. Huh. Wow, it's really in there. Okay. Well, that's all the, the hair. I don't know if that could be holding things up. Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Seems like it turns okay. Well, it seems okay, but since I'm here, <laughs> famous last words, right? There's a few screws on here. I don't know why one is gold, or two are gold and one is silver. This gold one actually seems like it goes onto the wheel, the wheel assembly. And I'm just looking for this brush assembly. So let's uh, take those off and see what I find. Ooh, something's happening. like the silver one was it just came up but it seems like oh this whole thing comes off oh and then it has um, it has like there's little springs in it that just give it electricity to those two pads maybe they're dirty I'll clean those off. Oh, this is a retaining one, I think. So I could probably just buy this whole thing if I can't get it to work. Maybe the little motor inside is bad. Um, 
which is cool. Um, oh, and there's like a little clip here. All right. Oh, okay. That's like, uh, oh, you have to pry this out kind of like this, I guess. And I'm gonna probably break it. That was a satisfying click. Oh, and it comes up. And this looks beautiful in here. All the gears look nice, there's grease. And that's what I would felt here, the action. Felt really nice on that thing. It felt like it spun the motor nicely. So I'm gonna put this back together because it's not those gears. And I'm gonna put that back in there. And so the only other thing it could really be is this um, It's the motor. I guess it can be something that you know, turns it off or whatever. But let me clean these contacts and put it back together. And if not, maybe I can buy this little assembly or maybe this little motor. Okay, so what I did here is I just cleaned these contacts with some acetone just to make sure it's getting good contact. And other than that, there's nothing really I can do. Let's put this thing back together and see if it works. Okay, so I have everything put back. Brush sticks nice and clean. This is the tray that catches all the dirt. And this is really gross. So let's uh, put it down and see if it works. Okay, so let's uh, just push clean here. Hey, and it works. I'm not sure what I did, but it looks happy, doesn't it? Okay, well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, just an addendum to this whole video. I looked on Amazon, and yes, they sell all the replacement parts. $16.99, you get the two big brushes. Uh, the air filter, the three of those little spinny round things, uh, the you know, edge edge brushes, and all the screws and everything that you need to uh, fix it up for 17 bucks. So probably should have done that, but then I wouldn't have had the joy and pleasure of digging out all of this mound of hair. Uh, which leaves the only question of, now what do I do with it? Hmm, practical joke. <laughs>